from Riley Dempsey's foot in Tempe, Arizona. We're here for the title match of today's JVT event. Now you can move it. Where Riley's sister Shelby is looking to try and win her first career JVT title here. Her uh, boyfriend Derek just won the scratch title, so that would be a rare double whammy here. She can pull it off. She is taking on Cassie Collins, and Cassie opened up with the front three. Shelby is giving 11 pins and was clean without a double until that point, where now she leaves the <laughs> ugly but makeable 6 7. This would uh, be a shot of adrenaline for her if she can somehow slide that 6 over into the 7. Now it's just going to get the one. And so trails by 30 on the scoreboard and giving another 11, but it's early. Second half of the game to come with Cassie Collins having the best performance of her JVT career. She's got one prior runner-up finish, so she'll at least match that. In a good position early on here to win it all. Bam! Wow! Oh. Holy smokes! The solid seven strikes there. My goodness, perfect shot. No love for the seven pin. Cassie qualified at plus 101 today for her five games on the house pattern. No trouble at all. On Survivor today, she actually struggled a little in the early Survivor rounds, but got the right, uh, the right draw, the right opponents. 189. Okay, so one on house, 189, 189, and 195 all survived. That's pretty fortunate. Turned it on later on in the survivor rounds. Getting past Jake Hilton, 273 to 245. That's Whitgren's, of course, in the semifinals. So she got it all figured out in time. And here she is uh, leading early here in this title match. Nice quick four step game, nice follow through, nice knee back. And the uh, tricky 245 is the result that time. Those left side spares on house are so choppable. Okay. Help it to the left, it hooks and chops. Help it to the right, it skids and all that house oil in the middle. Just gonna stick with their strike ball. And our fingers are crossed for it. <laughs> oh, and it does find all that oil in the middle. It doesn't get over there, and it's an open frame back and a big opportunity for Dempsey here. Shelby has to win by 11 to tie. What's that for Dempsey? Not talking about. <laughs> that's a, that's a first from all the videos I've watched. Yeah, and that, usually it's uh, Riley watching her bowling while Shelby's doing it. What? Shelby with a real nice basic physical game, also similar bowler. She takes five steps though. Push. Push. Yeah. Entire crowd cries push off her hand. Fortunately, uh, that's exactly what's out there, Link condition wise. It did. Yep, I'm gonna be rolling. Out. Gonna take care of you. Sounds good. Thank you, uh, sir. She's got uh, tabs all pretty much ready to okay. go. With the of these games that okay. Okay. Um, and we'll have you catch up today. And plus three, one check each day. Yeah. Sure. My numbers will be slightly different from yours because of 31 and 32, which is being the warm up there. So they've done. A bit of bowling there without any scoring. We've since. Had We've had practice, cool, so. sweet. I'm sure we'll square it up. Okay. So, Sounds good. So, See you bright and early tomorrow. Bright and early tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Yep. Big shot here for Dempsey. Wow, well, just like uh, Cassie on the left lane skips by, but gets a much better break getting the 2 4 to fall out of that and leave only the 5. Drinks anyone? Oh, there go the hands, all right. I didn't know if anybody did that. So yeah, we do that every once in a while. I saw you put it up and put it back down. See how into the JVT scene I am. There you go, even Cassie's got her hand up there. We're thirsty. Yeah, there will be no drinks. This, she smacks the five pin in the face. Good couple frames for her. Let's see what Cassie can answer back with here in the seventh frame. Could turn out today, 80 some odd bowlers. Whenever you get an entry count somewhat near the temperature, once you hit about May in Arizona, you're doing fine. That's a little hot. It's a little, a little toasty out there. Oh, nice looking ball again. Again, doesn't get the pins to mix, and it's that same 2 4 5. How often in bowling do you miss something, whether it's a single pin or a cluster, and you leave it again within the next frame or two? Not very much. It happens a lot. Do the same thing? Yeah. If you whip a seven, you're almost guaranteed to ring a seven in your next shot. I guess that's Clusters are a little different. Yeah. 
Those were hard to leave today. Oh, look out. Alright, that time just enough to get over to the two. Yeah, sevens were a little hard for you to leave, Mr. Scratch Champ. Twelve titles. Booyah. Hey, you. Hybrid is closer to 50 to match play, I think. As soon as he put away the ball that I randomly told him to use on a coin flip, yeah, was untouchable the rest of the day. Close game is 244. Eighth frame for Collins. Got to climb again. Oh, no. Instead, it's the 1, 2, 4, 10. Crucial spare attempt here coming up in the eighth. Definitely makeable. Just get that ball to the left of the 1. The 1 will drive over into the 10 most of the time. If she misses it, they'll be essentially tied on the scoreboard, which would give Shelby that 11 pin overall deficit. Key shot here. Yeah, one missing left. Well, she gets the three. That's the good news out of it. That's not the three uh, she would have wanted. MC trails now only by 11, the handicap difference. We figure strike spare just to anticipate what's going to happen and then judge it from there. Adjust it from there. Brother Riley nervous here, huh? just to the left of the camera. The foot's got to be shaking in his flip flop right there. Hey, good shot. Good shot. Good ball. Shelby has three seconds to her credit, and all three of them doubles, if I remember correctly, with a partner Marguerite Evans. So they, uh, if the doubles was a separate point list, they would have run away with it. Riley's going to grab that reset there, so the two pin got tired. Every shot crucial here. If she strikes here, she'll close the deficit to one and be on the double coming into the 10th frame. Finishing on a good one. A lot of bowling matches, one in the 9th frame, not the 10th. This could be the story of it right here as well. This is also the mixed greens bowling center. We got AMF masking in the Brunswick pins, wood approaches. HBL lanes. Come on, Sean. Terry. Ah. Dead even, ninth and tenth. Let's see if Cassie can answer here in the ninth. Good crowd sticking around here on a Saturday night. Just east of downtown Phoenix, just west of downtown Mill Avenue. Good ball. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh no. Well, lucky to break the split up. She left that 245 a couple times, had to make some sort of adjustment. And she did, over adjusted a little and crept up high, but she was on an open, so she doesn't lose any count. Obviously, this spare a must. Up quickly at it. Nicely done. All right, getting those 11 pins of handicap. Puts her theoretically ahead by one, but it's uh, whoever's going to perform here in the town. Nice first strike. Nice strike. Would yes. <laughs> it's going to all come down to count and fill balls here again, as it has a couple times in the last few months. But look out, way wide. Well, it's the old good news, bad news, 10th. Boy, is she lucky to get seven out of that and leave them something makeable. Bad news is there goes three of those pins of count we just talked about. Semi-bad news, it's not exactly a gimme spare here, the one, two, nine. Has to get the ball driving in order to keep carrying out that nine. Much better shot. Wow, that's a nice spare in that situation. It's just something, not something you ordinarily shoot. I mean, it's a pocket shot. You gotta watch that nine. Show me nine spare strikes. Pill ball still here, vital for Cassie, especially because she dropped those three pins last time. And doesn't want to drop any more count here.
I shall. Ah, great field ball in the 10th. Nice game from Cassie either way. 185 scratch gives her, of course, the 225 with pins. Shelby, nine spare strikes here for 197, which would win, right, by a pin. Yeah. So nine spare strike is a one pin winner. Eight spare strike would be a tie. We'd have a two frame roll off. She gets seven or less on this ball. Cassie wins already. Must have at least eight to stay alive. The strike here wins the title. This is on a good lane, too. This is the lane she's looking better on. Seemed like it was the lane that hooks a little less for both bowlers, too. If anything. Come on, Shell. Oh. There's that light hit again. She gives. So there's the eight. Now she must spare strike to have a tie. If they tie, they do a two frame tiebreaker. Have to spare first and then has to strike. My goodness. Oh, those Dempsey's bringing it down to the edge. She's better at Phil's time. <laughs> Riley self deprecating there. He had a couple questionable fills earlier this season. And I know he would like that. It's all about Shelby right now. Got a hook first. All right. Funny with those. It's funny with the lower left rev rate players like Shelby is, you just wait for that ball to pick up its first rev, then you know it's okay. Until then, you never know if the ball's going to hook at all. all right, you can strike to tie. Anything less is a loss. Well, every bowler's dream situation or nightmare situation. I got to hold the camera so I can't even get the tie board ready here. Not enough time is the case. Had a brilliant tie last week. Watched the Big Rock uh, scratch title match for uh, one of the better ties we've had in a while. Haven't had a pure tie in a title match like this in quite some time, though. For the tie. Oh, it mixes and we are tied. How did that ball get up, Riley? Nice job, ladies. You've Nice job, girls. You've accomplished nothing. Congratulations. Show me. We'll be back with that tie in a second. Watch part two.